guys welcome back to my channel it's me Stan so officially Stan thanks for tuning in today's topic I want to come on here and talk to all my ladies either turning 29 or 30 or in your 30s or beyond <laughs> um, if you are watching this video thank you so much for tuning in but I have a message for a lot of you guys because I am encountered with this discussion all the time especially this year because I have a lot of friends that are either older than me or that that have passed the, the threshold of 30 years old um, or approaching it and I've noticed that age is such a huge issue with women when they get around that age and I am so thankful that my mother never made an issue about age in our household. She never, ever made an issue about it. I never heard my mom saying, oh my God, I'm getting old. Oh my God, I have wrinkles. Oh my God, I this. Oh my God, I that. I am so blessed to have been raised in that situation um, where she never, age was never an issue. And I think too, because my mom always looked really, really, really young before she passed. Um, even with everything that she went through, it was only to the to the very end that she really started to, because her body wasn't responding, then you started seeing, you know, that she, well, yeah, I won't go into that. But what I'm saying is I was, I'm, I am so blessed to have been raised with, with that, that I feel comfortable um, being the age that I am and being, being, and, and, and I'm okay with, I was okay when I turned 21, I was okay turning 25, I'm okay when I turned 30, I'm okay, I'm okay because age is not an issue for me and it never has been. I am blessed and happy to live each and every single day and when I grow one year older it is so exciting for me mm -hmm. um, I get excited and I'm happy um, and I remember growing up I, I always wanted to see what I would look like when I was 21 what I would be like when I was 25 you know how I would act like I was always excited to know what the next year bring or what the next five years was gonna bring so I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys because I've been having this discussion with a few of my friends who are afraid of 30 they're afraid of turning 30 or they've turned 30 or they're turning 32 and they are terrified of the possibility of what could or could not happen and I want to say that 30 30 years old 30 35 40 it is not your death sentence it is not the end of your life it is the most exhilarating time because in your 20s you should have had the most amazing time of your life by making mistakes trying new things going crazy figuring out what you like or not like that's what your 20s was for your 30s should be your propelling moment that moment where you are you've lived and you want to continue living one of the things that I've noticed is that a lot of women feel like mm -hmm. they can't be sexy too sexy and I want to say that sexy is how you define it now you may want to I, do you mean cover it all up do you mean kim kardashian i'm talking you can still be sexy why can't you be sexy why is it not okay for you to be sexy you know what i mean i, I hope you guys are following me and i have friends that certain things that they would wear they don't want to wear because they're 30. And it's not because, oh, I can't fit into it, it doesn't look good on me. It's more of, I'm 30, so I'm not wearing that anymore. And I don't understand that concept. Maybe it's just me. I don't understand it. Um, you guys can comment below and let me know if you agree with that. But would you give all your clothes away, all your all your clothes away, basically, anything that you would consider too sexy, a short skirt, um, a skirt that maybe had a split on the side, uh, just anything that would would deem sexy a little bit sexy or too sexy would you give them all away once you turn 30 that's the question 
it's not they can't fit, I've gained weight, they don't look good. It's I'm 30, I'm not wearing it. That's what I mean. Would you give it away? Would you say, you know what, I'm done, I'm not wearing that anymore? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel so differently about age. I embrace it and I'm happy to have it. And um, I think with it we all should. We should value life. We should value having fun. You know, you may not want to be overly sexy, but it's okay to be sexy. You're a woman. You're allowed to be sexy. You know, you've lived through your 20s and done some amazing things. The fact that you've been able to live this far is a gift from God, so you should cherish that. It's a gift from our Creator. Cherish your life. Cherish what has been given to you. Do you know what a gift it is? So, if you're turning 30, be confident, be kind to yourself, be loving to yourself. Be you. Embrace who you are. Embrace turning 30. Embrace turning 35 and just embrace who you are. And there is nothing wrong with loving yourself and being completely free to be you. There's nothing wrong with sexy. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with being sexy. You can be covered from head to toe. Head to toe and still be incredibly sexy and sensual. It really just is you. It really is you. And that's what I mean. That is what I'm talking about. Because there, you, there is confidence in being a woman. There is confidence that you should at some point in your life be able to exude. And I hope that everybody gets to that point where they do feel that and they do feel like they can exude that. So I want you guys to get into the discussion below. Um, when you turned 30, did you feel like, did you feel amazing? Did you feel depressed? Did you cry? <laughs> A lot of people cried. Um, or maybe you just gave away all your clothes. Or maybe you lived it up because you're happy to be alive. What did you do when you turned 30? What did you do and how was it for you? Um, how was your 20s? You know, was it such an amazing time that you could look back and think, I was once 13 and 17 and 18. It's funny because I actually read an article from the Huffington Post that um, I think it, it came out in September of this year. And the girl talked about how it was 30 things to do before you turn 30. I'll put the link to the article below. But in the article, she talks about turning one before 30, turning two before 30, turning three before 30, turning 13 before 30, 21, 25, and then 30. And she talked about how you had to live each year to finally turn 30. So think about that. Think about when you were 13 and how it felt, when you were, when you finally turned 19 and how that felt, you know? Think about when you finally turned 21. I know a lot of you guys remember that, when you finally turned 21, because 21 is such a turning age for a lot of us. It's such a turning age for us. Think about the little things that you've been able to accomplish in your life. And I guarantee you that you will appreciate 30 so much more. And you will start to live. And that's what I want for each and every one of us. To live. To live. Not just to be quote unquote sexy. When I talk about sexy, I don't mean dressing like you are something on a corner. I mean confidence in yourself, that sensual, that sensuality, sexiness, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to be a woman, you know? It's okay to wear your makeup. It's okay to do your hair. It's okay to feel alive. It's okay to go on vacation. You're 30. Embrace it. Embrace your age. Embrace what you are, who you are right now. So, <laughs> alright guys, I'm going to stop. I will do an article with this on my blog. Let me know your opinions and how you feel, how you felt about turning 30. And um, do you agree or disagree with me? Let me know, know, let me know below, guys. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.